Hey, I'm Laura. Just quickly, we here at Grit TV are proud to bring you independently produced content every day. Now it's your chance to help us. Grit TV has been offered a $100,000 challenge grant. Every dollar you give right now between now and June 30th is worth $3 to us. We've only got a few more weeks to meet the match. Will you help? You can donate at our website, grittv.org. Meanwhile, enjoy this clip. Finally, the winners in this week's primaries were challengers right and left, and those who organized on the ground. As our friend Jane Hampshire put it, primary night, between Obama, net roots, and tea parties clearing out Senate dead wood, average age has dropped about two decades in the last five hours. Well, there are lessons here, clearly, but are they party lessons? This being primary season, the only real party news came from Pennsylvania's 12th Congressional District, the seat of the late John Murtha. That district voted for John McCain in 08, even as the state went for Obama. Both parties' House leaders, Boehner and Pelosi, campaigned there and both poured in cash, the GOP, around a million bucks. Democratic candidate Mark Kritz made jobs and veterans his two top priorities and stood for pitches with miners in coal fields. He won. And that's got Democrats excited. Pelosi doesn't have voters as scared as Fox News would have you imagine. And frustrated working Pennsylvanians didn't embrace Tea Party rage. But lessons? The big one may be that in a hurting working district, organized labor can turn out. And they did, with a strong message on fair trade and busting the banksters. The AFL-CIO say they made 33,000 phone calls, knocked on 16,000 doors, and distributed 75,000 flyers at 63 work district work sites. And Crits won, but so did grassroots organizing. And labor did it without Fox TV.